What's up everyone? It's your boy Norrad89 here bringing you another video and today we are going to start and tackle something I've been planning and wanting to do and I'm definitely going to try to get this video out before the end of the year. It might take some editing and I might do it in two parts. This is going to be my entire physical media collection, DVDs, Blu-rays, 4Ks, all that kind of stuff. I recently did a video on my entire Arrow video collection so you can go check that one out and all that kind of stuff. But like I said, today we're going to go over everything, the whole physical media collection, what I own. So like I said, this might be a lengthy video and I might split it into two parts. So grab grab your drinks, grab your beer, grab your coffee, grab your hot chocolate, your tea, whatever you like to drink. Sit down, grab a seat and let's talk about some movies. Now we're here to go over my physical media collection. Let's just dive right into this bad boy, starting with my 15 horror movies collection. This has a lot of good stuff on it. Night of the Blood Beast, we got Night Fright, Cat and Nine Tales is on here, God Against Evil, Boris Karloff, Snake People, a really good combination of all kinds of different horror just to... Like, you know, maybe submerge somebody or invite somebody new into the horror community and you're like, yo, check out some really good stuff. There's a lot of decent stuff in this pack right here. Then we got the Bruce Lee Criterion Collection. This has five films in it. The greatest hits of Bruce Lee. So many good films in this film. Bruce Lee is one of my favorites. Fist of Fury is my favorite movie of his. And like, yeah, so many good films in there. Then we have the 15 Hitchcock Films Collection. This has got a lot of good stuff, like I said, Jamaica Inn, The Manx Man, you know, all different wild films in here, all Alfred Hitchcock. He actually did a lot of films, The Lady That Vanishes, The Secret Agent Murder, Young and Innocent, so a lot of different stuff in this pack right here. Then we got the four film collection. We got Pee Wee's Big Adventure, Beetlejuice, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and Corpse Bride. Mm -hmm. Great, great combo. All DVDs right now so far. Then we got the Rob Zombie Trilogy, Three from Hell, House of a Thousand Corpses, and Devil's Rejects. Devil's Rejects is, in fact, my favorite Rob Zombie film. I think just highly his best and strongly written film, and it's just so amazing. Then we got this action pack right here. Got some crazy, cheesy, high-octane action films. You know, not all of them are the greatest. Some of them are just rip-offs of like starship troopers or like you know rip-offs of fast and furious but if you're into action you know late uh mid to late 90s action you're gonna be on board with these then we have an action four pack right here that actually includes raw deal in it which is a good film lords of the street is not a good film sean claude van damme this movie right here is a good film like a little documentary about him very important person in my childhood especially with blood sport and a lot of the films that he did like hard target and stuff then we have sam mendes's 1917 easy one of the films that i most regret not seeing in theaters because this was such an amazing ride for sure i was so happy that my wife bought this for me and yeah i was but uh, so happy but also very sad because i didn't get a chance to see it in theaters Rob Zombie's 31. I know one, one of his best films or not one of his most talked about films, but I still do enjoy Richard Brake's performance in here and Sherry Moon Zombie. No matter what she does, I actually eat up everything she does. I think she's actually a really cool actress. Next up, we have A Cure for Wellness, Dane DeHaan, Maya Goth in here, some crazy dark imagery, really good film, like it's got a slow burn feel to it, but it has like, kind of like a Shutter Island feel to it, but it's got some really gruesome body horror in it. American Heist, a film that is kind of a generic kind of heist story type film, but if it wasn't for Adrian Brody and Hayden Christensen, I definitely wouldn't enjoy this film. So it's because of these two actors. If it wasn't for them, this would just be some generic, you know, heist movie that I would forget about. Next up, American Assassin, totally, totally underrated. Dylan O'Brien, Michael Keaton, fabulous. It, very much in the same vein as Born Identity or like Mission Impossible and just as action-packed, great acting and just as thrilling. American Horror Story Coven Season. This is the only season of American Horror Story I own. I definitely need to dive into more and uh, own more. I've seen them all, but I've been basically recollecting, only picking up movies. I haven't really started diving into picking up seasons of shows yet. 
Next up, we have an American Tale, you know, Fightful. I don't have Fightful Goes West right now, but American Tale is one of my favorites, you know, like even Fightful Goes West. He's just such a great character. Old school Disney. That's like my favorite kind of era of Disney right there. Uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. This is the season two of Aqua Teen Hunger Force right here. And man, one of the best shows. Fry Lock, all those guys, they're creative, they're wild. And we have another one down here. I forgot about this one the Amityville Murders. Very much in just like a cheesy Amityville named film. It goes for some good, interesting ideas, but it doesn't hone it correctly, and execution isn't all the way there. Backyard wrestling. I'm a huge wrestling fan, and I like WCW, AEW, WWE, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, backyard wrestling. That video is right on my alley. I've owned that for a really long time. Next up, The Batman. One of the best films this year. My favorite part of this film is Paul Dano as the Riddler. I think fabulous. Like, yeah, this, this film was just oozes everything Batman. Next up, we have The Batman Double Feature. Batman and Mr. Freeze, Sub-Zero, and Batman Mask of Phantasm. These are two films, like, really good animated films. And Kevin Conroy, we freaking miss you. Next up, we have the Dark Knight Trilogy Pack. Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises. The Dark Knight Rises is my favorite film. I will die on that hill of the Batman movies. Batman Begins DVD. And Batman Ninja, as you can tell, I'm a huge Batman fan, as also my Batman Shrine that was behind me earlier. Next up, we have Beneath the Crust Volume 1 and 2. These are makings of and going into the detail, talking about the actors and actresses and the creators of American Pie 1 and 2. Really good documentary stuff. I like that. Best of the Best 2. I need to get Best of the Best 1. Really good, but Eric Roberts, epic in this. Really love these films. If you love early 90s, mid 90s action martial arts films, you're going to love this film. Better Watch Out, one of the best Christmas horror films. I actually recently just reviewed this on my channel. It's a really good Christmas horror film. Might be really close to my top 10. Not in my top 10, but really close. Big Fish and Begonia, this is a good animated film. Man, so good. Got a really good, like, feels in it, emotional, and I actually get, like, had the cries going into this one or towards the end of that movie. John Carpenter's Big Trouble in Little China, such a fantastic film, really, and this film always makes me think of my wife because she's got beautiful green eyes and the fact that they're looking for a woman with dragon green eyes, like, yeah, Big Trouble in Little China, it's a special place in my heart. Next up, Black Christmas, probably my favorite Christmas-themed horror film, Black Christmas by Bob Clark. Such an amazing film. That's the two-disc collector's edition. And my favorite film of all time, Blade Runner 2049 by Denis Veneuve, and such a fabulous cast. Great performances all around. Cinematography stories, so gripping. I... Ah, I eat this film up. It's like a special experience, though. Every time I watch this film, you got to sit down, have the right snacks, have the right drinks and everything. It's just, oh, I love it. Bleach, two-pack of films. we got Fade to Plaque and Bleach the Movie. Great. I love this anime. Bleach is one of my favorite animes of all time. This is next one of the few films I haven't seen in my collection, Blood on Her Name. My, uh, my mom and my daughter actually bought this film for me when they went out one time. Still haven't seen it. Like I said, I will definitely get to this film and let you all know what it is about and how good it is. Boiling Point, Wesley Snipes and Dennis Hopper. Great 90s, you know, film, thriller, cop stuff. I think this was 1994, 92, around that era, something like that. Next up, we have The Breakfast Club. And forgive me for this one. I've had this one for a really long time, and it's really dirty, I know. I need to get a new edition of this one, but... I eat this film up. I've seen this film probably over a hundred times. I just love this movie. So yeah, that's why it gets a lot of watches and that's why it's got, and it's been in my collection for a really, really long time. Now we're on to the next part. Bridge to Terabithia, a great Disney film. Got a lot of emotional feels, good young actors, and a good special effects too, especially at that time. Really good special effects. Broken Arrow, John Travolta, Christian Slater. Psh what such a good film like totally underrated doesn't get talked about as much probably just as good as like con air and face off and you know those films in that era probably just as good as all of those movies can't hardly wait a great 90s coming of age film and man jennifer love hewitt in that era Woo man even got seth green in here it's such a good cast in here Casino Royale, this is the two-disc widescreen edition, Daniel Craig's first outing as James Bond, and 
Ava Green, Man is Vespa. <sighs> oh my God, such a good movie, such a good movie. Charlie Bartlett, Anton Yelchin. Sadly, we did use lose him at a very young age. It was so fucking sad because if he was still here, he would be doing some bomb ass films. Robert Downey Jr., man, Hope Davis, such such a great cast, an amazing film with a huge huge heart. Next up, we have Steve Martin in Cheaper by the Dozen. I do enjoy Steve Martin comedy, and Cheaper by the Dozen is a film that I highly enjoy of his. Christmas Evil, probably, this is in my top 10 Christmas-themed horror films. This is a really good film, totally underrated. A lot more people need to be talking about this movie. The Conjuring 7 film collection. This has The Conjuring films, all of them up to The Devil Made Me Do It, and The Nun, and all the Annabelle films are in here. So I got them all in one shot. I'm not a huge Conjuring fan, but it, I couldn't really resist. It was so, like, 15 bucks for all the films in one shot DVD. I was like, fucking get it. Guillermo del Toro's Crimson Peak, a totally underrated film, very good aesthetic, great costume design, love that film, has almost like Tim Burton-y type vibes. Day of the Dead, George A. Romero's Day of the Dead, easily my favorite zombie film of all time, I freaking love this film, to me it's this film and then every other zombie film. Martin Scorsese's The Departed, great, great performances, Leonardo DiCaprio probably fucking deserved an Oscar for this film, it's so good. Dexter randomly seasons two disc one, season two disc one and two I don't know random shit ends up in your collection you know I had a huge collection then I sold a bunch of stuff to Hastings and got rid of a bunch of things at Hollywood video and then you know only kept so many and then you know started recollecting really recently over the last year here we go, Dodgeball. I know this one might be cheesy, stupid comedy, but Vince Vaughn, Ben Stiller, Justin Long, just the, the comedy in this film makes me laugh every freaking time I eat it up. Domestic Disturbance, John Travolta, Vince Vaughn, great chemistry, haunting vibes in this film. Like I actually really enjoy this film. Totally underrated. Might be one of those films that not a lot of people have seen, but if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Don't Breathe. This one, me and my wife saw in theaters. Totally surprised me. Such a good film. I still have yet to see the second film, but I mainly seen this because of, you know, like the actors that are in it and actresses. And it's by the creator of the Evil Dead film, which is one of my favorite ones, Fede Alvarez. We're going to get to that one pretty soon. All right, here we go. The Dracula Complete Legacy Collection, Bela Lugosi. This has six films in it, all black and white, black and, you know, Dracula stuff. You know, House of Frankenstein, Dracula, Son of Dracula, all that kind of stuff right here in this film. House of Dracula, Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Really great stuff. Then we also have right here, Bram Stoker's Dracula, boom, 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 Keanu Reeves, you know. In back in the day, look at that boy, look at that handsome boy, Anthony Hopkins. Good, good film. Now into one of my wife's least favorite films. I actually enjoy this film. Drag Me to Hell, Sam Raimi. This is the two or the unrated director's cut. Man, two versions of this film. This is a good film. It's got a lot of watches in my house. You can tell, like, but, but yeah, my wife actually doesn't like that movie. The Emoji Movie, mainly in my collection because of the kids. My kids absolutely adore this film. Even my my daughters, they grew up and now my son enjoys this film. He's like that kid age now. My daughters are like teenagers, so this is one that's a uh, often watch in my household. Next up, we have Enter the Dragon, the two-disc special edition, such a fabulous edition, and also one of the few films in my collection I have double-dipped on. <sighs> Sean Connery, we miss you. I miss you so much. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen and Entrapment, and two, two great films. Entrapment is my favorite out of these, and if you haven't seen Sean Connery and Catherine Zeta-Jones in this movie, do yourself a fucking favor and watch this movie. It's so good. All right, next, next up, we have everything everywhere all at once probably one of the best films this year but i think it's going to fall out of my top 10 because there's been a lot of good films this year i'm really going to do my top 10 ranking pretty soon of all kinds of films not just horror films but this is a really good film for sure very very solid watch sam raimi evil dead the original and i recently saw this uh, this past year with for the anniversary so amazing to see this in theaters one of the best. It doesn't get as better than, like, you know, Sam Raimi, Evil Dead. It's such a good vibe. But it does get better for me with this film because this is my 
favorite horror film of all time what Fede Alvarez was able to do and I'm so happy I got this you know Scream Factory edition of this the 4k beautiful gorgeous film like I said when I think of horror this is what I think of this is horror personified for me I absolutely love this film my favorite horror film of all time Final Destination 4-pack. We got 1, 2, 3, and Final Destination. I still really do love 1 and 3. Those are probably my two favorites, 1 and 3. And, but I don't love the Final Destination franchise. It's mainly just 1 and 3. Those are my favorites. Bruce Lee, Fists of Fury, one of the other few films that I've double-dipped on, and this is, in fact, my favorite Bruce Lee film, man, Fists of Fury. Bruce Lee was just such an iconic actor, and... I miss him so much because we lost him at such a young age. And if we would have got him still to this day, he would have been putting out some great, great content. Next up, we have Jackie Chan, The Foreigner. Man, my, my wife loves this film, and I do too. She's more of a Jackie Chan fan. I'm a Bruce Lee fan, and my wife is a huge Jackie Chan fan. So this is more her realm. And, but it's still a really good film. I love The Foreigner. I like this better than Taken. and I really do. Next up, we have Ford versus Ferrari. I got this one for Father's Day and was such a great surprise. Matt Damon and Christian Bale have great chemistry, and I love the story behind this film. Very interesting. Next up, we have Full Metal Alchemist episodes. This is season one. Such an amazing show. I know a lot of people prefer Full Metal, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood because it stays more true to the manga, but I like this one better. Next up, we have Toby Hooper's The Fun House and... Another hot take, I do have more fun with this than Texas Chainsaw Massacre sometimes. I just, I really do like Funhouse. It's a film that I discovered at a young age, and I just love it. I'm having a hard time getting it in there. I'm going to put it down right here. Ghostbusters 1 and 2, I'm missing the thing that holds them together, but this is both of them. Just classic, classic horror comedy. Easy, some of the best 80s stuff that you've ever gotten, that we've ever gotten. Girls Trip, and this was a film that I got for, like, my mom, my wife. They really do love this film. Like, I just keep all the Blu-rays and DVDs, but I actually do have some fun with this film, mainly because of the cast. Queen Latifah's great. Tiffany Haddish is funny as fuck, so it, it actually is a really funny movie. Next up, we have Godzilla vs. Kong. Man, I actually, fun fact, have more Godzilla films on VHS. I need to pick up more on DVD and Blu-ray, but I have way more on VHS than I do on this. This is the only Godzilla film I own in this format. Then we have right here, Giver. This is the Giver series, Volume 1 and 2. This is the series, and man, so good. They actually did live-action movies of these, but... I prefer the shows. The show is much better, much more gruesome and violent, but the, the movies are pretty good too, but not as not highly revered as like the show to me. Hairspray, I'm actually a huge, huge, you know, musical fan. I need to get more musicals. Like I said, I've only been recently picking up uh, collecting again over the last year or so, but Hairspray is such an amazing film for real. And West Side Story is actually my favorite musical of all time. Then we have Halloween, the special 4Ks right here. Was it Scream Factory that did these ones? Man, gorgeous, gorgeous. I got John Carpenter's Halloween and then Halloween 5 because this is a fan favorite of mine, near, dear, close to my heart. This is number three in my ranking. I love Halloween 5. Then we have the Halloween 2018 Steelbook. Sexy, sexy. Then we have Halloween Kills right here. Blu-ray, DVD, digital code, Halloween Kills. And then the Halloween Collection right here. This has Curse of Michael Myers, H2O, and Resurrection in it. The Mirror Max Collection or Classics or whatever. So yes, great films. Like I love Halloween. Slashers, I just eat up slashers. And... On to another slasher we're going to talk about right now, right here. The Beauty, the Friday the 13th collection. We had to talk about this one and get this one in here. All the Friday the 13th films to the remake with a special edition. Like, you know, has some special features disc. Nice booklet, what they did with this film or with this collection. It's gorgeous. Like, and me being a Friday the 13th fan, this is my favorite slasher franchise so i just had to eat this up sorry one of my son's toys is right here hi yes friday the 13th the best and we are going to stop this video here like i said and we will be doing part two pretty soon make sure you stay tuned to the channel don't forget to like and subscribe so you get more videos like this hope you guys like the collection so far like i said we will continue and go on part two 
next like i said i don't want to keep you guys too long or anything like that so make sure you like and subscribe so you stay tuned to the channel but most importantly you all have a safe and happy day peace out